Hey guys, welcome back to another week of What's for Dinner. My name is Andrea with Foodimentary Adventures in Food. Our What's for Dinner videos come out every single Tuesday. So if you are new to our channel, we are actually in the middle of a pantry, freezer, and fridge challenge, which just means we're trying to use what we have on hand. So we are kicking off another week of What's for Dinner with a childhood favorite of mine. It's a recipe that my mom used to make all the time and it's called chicken and dressing casserole. So let me show you what's on our plate. So we are having some green beans. These came from our freezer and these green beans I got from Aldi. And then I made rice to go um, with the chicken dressing casserole. And what I did, because you have to boil the chicken, I used the broth from the chicken to make the rice. That's a tip I wanted to share with you guys. It gives it a really good flavor. And then here is the casserole, and I'll make sure to link the recipe in the description box. And then, so this is my plate. And then this is Howard's plate. He is having the same exact thing, except he prefers potatoes um, over rice. And in the pantry, I have these Idahoan cheddar and sour cream potatoes. Now normally I wouldn't make a cheddar and sour cream potato to go with this, but this is what we had in the pantry. And then from also from the pantry, I used a can of cream of chicken soup and a can of cream of mushroom soup. And then um, the recipe calls for Pepperidge Farm um, herb stuffing, so use that. And then in my freezer, I had some chicken thighs that I had bought in bulk and then separated, so we're using our um, chicken thighs from the freezer. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight, and we'll see you guys next time. Hey guys, so for dinner tonight, we are having another meal from our freezer. So I got this mandarin orange chicken from Trader Joe's. I got this um, a few months ago when I was preparing to have the baby and I wanted to have some quick freezer meals. And so Howard and I have never had this mandarin chicken. I've never bought it before because I normally don't like sweet things. So I'm not one that would order sweet and sour chicken from a Chinese restaurant or anything like that. Um, but everyone raves about it, so I wanted to give it a try. So. Here it is on my plate, and it's actually not bad at all. It's not as sweet as I thought it would be, but it definitely has a citrusy orange flavor to it. The instructions are pretty simple. First, you bake the chicken in the oven, and then um, once it's warm, you put it in a frying pan, and you pan fry it, and then you add in the sauce, and here it is. So it's pretty good. How did I taste it? It is very, it's crunchy. It has a really good flavor. Serving it over some leftover rice that I had in the fridge. And then I uh, just stir fried some cabbage. Now normally when I make cabbage, I make fried cabbage, which um, I add bacon to. And so I'm trying to be a little bit healthier. So I just sauteed the cabbage in olive oil and sesame oil and seasoned it up. I did add some powdered chicken bouillon to give it some flavor since I wasn't adding the bacon. So um, this is what we are having for dinner tonight and we'll see you guys next time. Hey guys, so it is a cold day here in Texas. So I made some cabbage potato and sausage soup. I made this about a month ago for the first time and showed it on our what's for dinner video and Howard really liked it a lot and I liked it a lot too. So um, I did have to go to the store to get a few things for this recipe. It's super simple and I'll make sure to link this recipe or actually the what's for dinner video. I'll make sure to link it in the description box, the other video, um, because I had a link for the recipe in there. But this recipe, all it calls for is cabbage, which I did have to go to the store and get cabbage. It calls for a hot breakfast sausage, and so I had that in my freezer, so I used that. It called for potatoes, so I went to the store and bought exactly two potatoes for this recipe, and it called for chicken broth. So I did uh, do a grocery haul the other day, and I did get some chicken broth, so I used two boxes of this chicken broth from my pantry. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight and we'll see you guys next time. Hey guys, so I am sitting in the parking lot of Chick-fil-A. I'm sitting in my car actually. So I got their value meal with the waffle fries, got a lemonade and I got an eight count nuggets. 
So I just had to get out of the house today. I haven't shared it with you guys, but I decided to stay at home full time with Harrison and it's definitely been a big adjustment. And so I texted Howard early when he was at work and I was like, I've got to get out of the house. So um, I'm at Chick-fil-A having dinner. Howard is um, at home with Harrison. He's either gonna have the soup that we had um, last night or the chicken and dressing casserole that I made earlier in the week. He's gonna have some leftovers, but wow, staying at home full time with a baby is definitely a big adjustment. Not to say I'm, I'm you know, not happy about Harrison because I am, I love that little boy, but I just needed to get out and get a little break. So um, this is my dinner tonight. Like I said, the nuggets, I got some ketchup right there, my lemonade, waffle fries. And then after I'm done eating, I'll play, probably go and do a little bit of shopping just to get out a little bit, stretch my legs, talk to some adults. So anyway, see you guys next time. Hey guys, so for dinner tonight, we are having this tart from Trader Joe's. Um, I picked this up a couple of months ago, right before I gave birth in December, so that we could have some quick freezer meals. And so this is one that Howard and I really like. It is a flatbread with ham, caramelized onion, and Gruyere cheese. And so you bake it directly on the oven rack, and then I took it out of the oven, and I put it on this cookie sheet, and this is what it looks like. So we're going to split this for dinner, and then we are going to have a side salad, and the side salad is um, this dull chopped kit bacon Caesar, and it comes with all of those things in it. So uh, romaine, grated Parmesan, Caesar dressing, crouton crumbles, and bacon crumbles, and here it is. This is what it looks like. Now normally you would toss it all up, um, but I just chose to um, not toss it and just add the salad dressing on top. And so this is what we are having for dinner tonight and we'll see you guys next time.